All right, welcome to today's class. Today we have a very nice math challenge, a very nice math problem on the board. The question before us is, bracket open x plus 2y close bracket all to the power of 10. What is the seventh term in this expansion? So we all know that if we have to expand this question, it also means we're going to have bracket open x plus 2y close bracket times bracket open x plus 2y close bracket times bracket open blah, 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 to the tenth term. So how do we do this? Now, there are two methods we can use to solve this. We can use the binomial expansion or we can use the continuous multiplication process. But the continuous multiplication process will take a lot of time and you might make some mistakes in the process if you are not good at what you do. So what happens here, we're going to use the binomial expansion. Now, I saw a question of this kind that uh, the power was raised to power 12. And uh, I used the Pascal diagram, the Pascal triangle to get the coefficient. But here, I'm not going to use the Pascal triangle to do that. I'm going to use the binomial theorem. Okay, so follow me on this journey as we go on this smooth journey. All right, so we take our solution. Take our selection. Good. So how do we get the seventh term? Like I said earlier on, that if we are to multiply this step by step, it will take us some time. So what does the binomial theorem say? It says that if you have, let's assume you have your a plus b r to the power of n, and you have to expand this, this will give us the summation of n, from k as it tends to zero, there will give us your n combination um, k, okay, times your, the first term here, which is your a to the power of n minus k, there times the second term here, b to the power of k. This is your binomial theorem. This is what it says. Now, we can rewrite this binomial theorem. So, n combination k is just a pattern used to get the coefficient of each of the terms we are going to have in this series or in the expansion. Okay, so we can rewrite this here as our, your n factorial all over n minus k factorial. Okay, this factorial, please, bracket your k factorial, okay, into times our a to the power of n minus k, there times our b to the power of k. What you should know about this challenge or by this binomial expansion is that in each of the terms as we progresses, the power of a will be decreasing by one and b will be increasing by one. But at each stage, the power of these two quantities put together must be equal to our n. Okay? The power of A and B put together at each stage of the expansion or simplification must be equal to N. Right? So, how do we get the seventh to this expansion here now? Now, let's get the value of N and the value of K from this expansion. So, from here we have bracket in your x plus 2y equal to, sorry, always to 10. So from here, we discover, or this implies that our n is equal to what? 10. Easy. So n here is 10. Then what is our k? Our k we start from 0. So we have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So these are the values for our k. What are we looking for? We are looking for the seventh term. So how do we get the seventh term of this expression? So we count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So look at what our k will be. So this is the seventh term in this expansion. So this is our k. So k is equal to 6 from this expression. So for the seventh term, we are going to have here 
the um, T7, but let me take it as this, T7 will now be equal to, we are using the binomial expansion now, okay? So we're going to have here 10 factorial all over your 10 minus our 6, close bracket, factorial, then 6 factorial times, the first term is x. So our first term like we have here is a, so here we have here times x to the power of what? 10 minus 6, so we have 10 minus 6 times, our second term is 2y. So this is going to give us a bracket, 2y, close bracket, all to the power of what? K, and our K is what? 6. So all to the power of 6. Easy, easy. Okay, so we know that factorial is what? It's just, for instance, if you have your um, 10 factorial, this is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, down, down, down to where you have... Okay, so if we are to expand this now, what will this give us? So let's continue on this side of the bird. Okay, so from here, let's go ahead. So we're going to have this to be your 10. So let's just bring out our 10 factorial. But our 10 factorial, we're going to end it at 6. So we're going to have this to be, uh, this now implies that 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial all over your six from ten will give us four factorial okay it's four factorial please there times what six factorial okay everything into times your x to the power of here will give us four and we use this to open up this but let's still keep this first so we have here times bracket two y r to the power of six teaching good Yes. So let's go ahead now. Dix, we cancel dix. We know 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 4, whatever. So we have here to be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 all over 4 times 3 times 2 times times our x to the power of 4 times 2y to the power of 6. So we can cancel out here now. 4 year 1, 4 year 2, 3 year 1, 3 year 3, the three, 2 year 1, uh, 2 year, we give us 1. So let's go ahead and open up everything and everything. So we're having 10 times 3, 30 times 7, that is 210. So we're having our T, mind you, we're having our T7 here. So our T7 is equal to 210. Then our X times okay x to the power of four now we distribute this power among the content we have here so we're having two to the power of six two to the power of six means two times two times two times two okay which is four times four times four that will give us 64 so we have this to be times 64 the y to the power of six easy so from here we're going to have our t7 so t7 is equal to, we use this to multiply this. So 210 times 64, that will give us um, 13,000 or 440. So we have 13,440. Then our 10 here, we have S to the power of four, the Y to the power of six. All right. So this is our 710. Okay. All right. So from this expansion, if we have to expand this, yeah, this is our seventh term, okay? So if you learn something from this simplification or this expansion, then give the video a thumbs up. And there is a video I also produced using the Pascal diagram, okay, to expand the twelfth power of an expression. And it's showing up here, okay? You can probably watch that video later, all right? So if you've not subscribed, do yourself that favor to subscribe. Okay, so that you can learn something good from this channel. Remember, I love you, and every one of us at All I Must TV loves you. Bye for now.